In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new YouTube Studio Video Editor. Deliver your value. Hi, and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier, and if you'd like to make sure that you receive notifications on future videos that help you deliver your value to the world, make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. All right, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at the new video editor that's available in YouTube Studio. If you haven't been using YouTube Studio, it is the new version of Creator Studio. You can get to it by clicking the link in the upper left-hand corner of the Creator Studio. I'm gonna show you exactly how how it works, what features are available, and how you can use it to edit your videos. Now, just to be clear, this is not a full suite of video editing tools, but it does have a lot of useful features, and we're going to go through them today. All right, so this editor is pretty straightforward. In YouTube Studio, we are going to click on an actual video. We're going to select the most recent live stream here. Uh, on the left hand side, you see a number of different options. We're going to take a look at the one that says editor. So we click on editor. It's going to take a second to load the video into the timeline here on the bottom. Now what this tool is going to let you do is basically uh, trim the video and uh, add or remove or edit end screens. So it remains to be seen what other additional features YouTube may add to the editor, but this basically takes the place of the enhance tab that was available in uh, Creator Studio. Uh, for now, it'll let you trim off the beginning or end of the video as well as take some uh, uh, pieces or um, sections out of the middle of the video. We're going to cover exactly how you do that in this interface. So. Taking a look at the interface, the video has loaded. Now, if you want to uh, take off the beginning or end of the video, uh, we're gonna go over here to where it says trim. Click on trim. You will see down at the bottom, this little menu pops up. Now, if you're trying to remove the beginning or the end of the video, you don't actually have to click on a spot uh, and split it. You actually will have a bar at the beginning of the video. You simply cursor, move your cursor over it, click on it, hold the cursor down, and drag it in. And that was the actual marker. I don't know why they put them over, but you can see we got that out of the way. That's just a marker. This is what we're actually trying to click on here, but it was hidden under that. Uh, so if you move that, nothing happens. This blue bar is what we're actually trying to get to. So if we click on that, and we hold the click and drag, you'll see that it turns this area darker than the rest. Now that means that when you go and click to save your changes, all of these darker areas are going to be removed. All right, now the reason I wanna show you, we got this little guy here. This represents your, um, your split marker. Uh, it's where you're, if you wanted to make an edit within the video, you're going to use this to do it. As we could see by default, it was kind of laid on top of the beginning of the video, uh, which kind of got in the way. So you may need to move that out of the way. Hopefully they may um, fix that or, or put it in some other spot there. So it's not, um, you know, a little confusing there. So when we drill in here, uh, on the right hand side, you'll see we have the zoom option. Uh, this is good to try to really narrow in on a specific area within the video that you actually want to trim. Uh, and I do believe there's an area in here. Let's take a look here. Um, see if we can find one. We'll zoom in a little bit to see what's going on here. So you can see there are some gaps here uh, where um, perhaps I was reading chat or whatever the case is. So we can take see a look Shannon? and see. And then there's some dead air there. Now, if we wanted to remove this particular section, you see we got our little, our little split uh, marker here that you can move all around the video. We're gonna put that right after uh, the actual speaking that's taking place and say this is where we want to make the edit. So once that's in place, you click the split button down at the bottom and it'll make a, a bright white line kind of like we saw at the beginning of the video. Now if you click and hold on that and you drag to the right or left, you're going to see that uh, darker area. Now the one thing that I thought was a little bit counterintuitive on this particular display was the fact that when you do this it pops up this little X and to me that X kind of makes me think like you click on it to remove this section and that's not actually what it does if you cursor over it you'll see that it says undo split now I'm used to seeing an undo function kind of being a 
half circle with an arrow on it that points you know to the left to show you to undo what you did undo redo that kind of thing uh, but here they've chosen the circle X uh, which to me has a totally different meaning but uh, that's how they've done it that's what it looks like and so you don't want to click on this to remove this you're just going to leave the gray area uh, so if you had another uh, place that you wanted to edit you grab your little marker here you'd move it to the next place you click on split and then again you would drag that area now once you're all done and everything is good uh, you can click on preview and that is going to allow you to play back the video and skip the pieces that you actually edited out if you're comfortable or you're satisfied with the changes that you've made there, then you go on the upper right hand corner and you click the save button. Now something to consider once you've clicked save is it's going to take YouTube a little bit of time to actually process your changes. Uh, so what they'll actually do is they'll edit your video in the background. They won't make any changes to the video that people see until the edits have been processed and completed and they have a new version of the video to present. So nothing else you have to do after clicking save you can go on your merry way uh, they're going to do all the the lifting in the background and then once the revised version is ready they're going to swap that out with the video itself so people will start to see the edited version now beyond the trim functionality here in the interface the other thing that they give you the ability to do is add an end screen so as we know the end screen appears in the last 20 seconds of a video so if we click on add end screen which is this bottom column here uh, it is going to give us some template choices uh, this is similar to what you uh, may have used or at least the you know the organization of which you may have used in creator studio but in this case let's say we want to do you know two videos and a subscribe button so you click here click apply uh, and then we need to jump to the end of the video here you'll see this is a, a two hour live stream so they're really small here at the right hand corner but you'll see them appear on the screen you can click on each one and orient it the way you would like. We'll just throw these over here so they're not in the way. And as you can see, as you click on each one, you're going to get a menu in the upper left hand corner. Uh, here we see it has three options, your most recent video, your best for viewer and the option to select a video, but it's highlighted the one that is actually applied to this particular element with this blue square. So that's how you know what's actually going to be displayed. We click down here, we see it highlights the best uh, for viewer because that's what we have it set to. Now say if you wanted instead of most recent upload, you could actually click on specific video. It's gonna give you the option to go through your videos and pick one. Uh, to put there in its place again same thing when we go over here and click on the subscribe button we'll see it's a subscribe button if you wanted to add an element or change this element to something different you can see here is where you get the different options to do so but we're good with the two videos and the subscribe button again they're going to be at the end of the video once you're comfortable with that and your edits uh, everything looks good you've taken a look at the video in preview mode then you go ahead hop up to the blue uh, save button click that save button and you know depending on the amount of edits that you've done YouTube will process that and get the new version up as soon as it's ready and hey don't forget this video is sponsored by TubeBuddy TubeBuddy is the number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel it's available to download for free and there's a link in the description below and hey guys I can't stress enough the power of being able to educate yourself for free here on YouTube and learn how to deliver your value to the world so make sure you click on one of these videos to continue your education one of those either one